I always was a pretty athletic kid, um, not because of my siblings or anything else. I actually had an older sister and she was so graceful and, you know, beautiful and kind and, you know, quiet, demure. And I was like this crazy kid and I would like play on the playground with the boys. And, and then in grade nine, there was co-ed wrestling practice and me and my best friend, Catherine, we were like wrestling, what is this? And so we decided to go out and give wrestling a chance. And I went to my first wrestling practice and I instantly fell in love with the sport. I love the technical, tactical, physical aspects of it and never looked back. My favorite memories in sport, you know, I honestly go back to the first time I made the Canadian national team. And I was 17 and I flew to Austria with a whole bunch of women from across Canada and we, you know, got put in these dorm rooms and Jasmine, me and who's now my best friend, we got put in bunk beds and we played like light wars till two in the morning. And we just had this insane, amazing experience. I don't even remember the wrestling, but I remember the, the feelings that I had, the friendships that I made. And, you know, seven years later, I made my first Olympic team with Jasmine and Danielle, two women that were on that first national team. And so when I think about my highlights in the sport of wrestling, I've had some huge wins. I've had some amazing places that I've gone to visit, but it's the friendships that I've had. It's that connection that I made with the women that I train alongside and against that really has been the reason I'm here today. It's really important to surround yourself with those people that are gonna encourage you, that are gonna support you, that are gonna understand that passion is awesome, that going after crazy goals is hard, but it is amazing and, um, you know what, those people are out there, those people are real, and all you gotta do is just be resilient in knowing your truth and knowing what you want and going after it. I always believe that you find strength on the edge of failure and you have to go to push yourself to that limit beyond what you think is comfortable to get to that place where you can find your true inner strength. My first year at university, wrestling for the varsity team, wrestling with a group of national team athletes, I literally did not score a single point but I put myself in an environment where I knew I was gonna grow. I knew it was gonna be difficult, and it was. But I got up 10 times every single day and took that step forward. I also didn't win the national championships the year before the Olympic Games. I put myself in a really tough position. I was questioning, you know, am I enough? Am I gonna be ready? And I replaced those voices with words of encouragement, with words of support. I wrote in my journal, self-positive statements when I couldn't think of anything. I forced myself to be positive and to look at the opportunity and not just deal with the disappointment. And that next year, I won the Olympic Games. It's crazy to think about, but it's honestly so possible if you just believe in yourself, if you just do the work, put your head down and have confidence in who you are and what your abilities are. What I learned through sport, you know, I played individual sports like wrestling, I played a lot of team sports like soccer and basketball. And I really learned this idea of like, the rising tide floats all boats. And so it's like this idea of, you know, your best effort and encouraging everybody around you to give their best effort. That's really cool. And that's the only way to have success as an individual and as a team. There is so much pressure that I feel, that we all feel as women to fit into a certain box, to look a certain way. And at the end of the day, your body is what it is. Your body is a powerful tool. Your body is beautiful in its own iteration. And you know, you have to love yourself. You have to be your own champion. And for me, that was a really big struggle throughout my career. I was in a sport of wrestling. I got to wear this spandex suit, not super flattering. I was surrounded by other women that were more ripped than me, that were more jacked. And you know, I just had to find a way to fake it till you make it, to have that confidence to step on the mat and be like, it doesn't matter what I look like, I'm still gonna kick your butt. Sports has given me so many opportunities. I graduated high school and I decided to move across the country to try out for the varsity wrestling team in another province. Um, you know, I finished two degrees at the University of Calgary where I went to school and I went to two Olympic games 
And now, you know, again, I feel like sometimes I'm starting from scratch and I'm not sure of myself. I don't know what the future holds and that's okay. And I'm completing my MBA at, the, at Cornell University and I'm just open to any opportunity that comes up. The one piece of advice that I would give myself is, Erica, you're not as good as you think you are. You're way better. I wish I had had that confidence when I was younger to really push beyond what I was capable of, to really understand my full potential. What motivates me to give back and mentor and coach the next generation of wrestlers is you know, this understanding that my journey in the sport, who I am today, is because of the women and men that mentored me and that supported me. There's a lot of times in wrestling that you might feel alone, you might feel unworthy, uh, it's really tough. And you know, every single day I had someone who literally picked me up off the ground after they took me down and you know, supported me and encouraged me and challenged me. And so for me, the motivation to give back is to ensure that the next generation, you, know, you have somebody in your corner that supports you. So go after those big dreams. Don't hold yourself back because of your friends, because of what you know, your teachers or your coaches say. My go-to candy is Sour Skulls from the convenience store in Sweden. My favorite movie is Gladiator. My go-to playlist, it's definitely a mix of old school R&B and hip hop and kind of new current dance and techno music. The one thing you have to do when you come to Calgary is you gotta get a coffee from the Rose Street in Kensington and go for a walk along the river and take yourself at the Peace Bridge. Hands down, best thing about the city. Yes, I did try out for the WWE. It was a super cool experience. It's really fun. Wrestling is obviously like hand-to-hand -hand combat. WWE wrestling is a little bit more of like a dynamic dance. And so it was really cool to learn a completely different movement pattern and just to try something completely different.